Welcome back to the Maple Marathon and our continued coverage of the newest Isle of Cats expansions. So this is going to be a solo playthrough uh, against uh, my sister on kind of standard difficulty here uh, using all three modules, uh, including a one of the new boats. So, you know, everything basically that I could fit into one game that these uh, newest expansions offer. As you also will notice uh, if you haven't seen my other videos, the uh, storage solution around the outside here is from the big old two minute box. So <clears throat> uh, this is not going to necessarily be a how to play video. If you're interested in that for the uh, expansion content, check out my how to play video for that. Uh, it's popping up in the upper right corner right now. And if you are unfamiliar completely with how to play the Isle of Cats, you can check out my how to play video for just the base game uh, up there now. So. Let's, for the sake of time, I've obviously gone ahead and set up the board, and I've gone ahead and done my initial draft. So, um, the Vesh's boat here, the first event basically states that any treasures that I cover up with the appropriate cat will gain me two, or treasure maps will gain me two treasures instead of one. Uh, and that's only for this first round. So, um, before we uh, go ahead and get started, I didn't really have a lot of cards that I liked, but I did have this one. So I am going to play this uh, anytime card to draw three cards and uh, see if there's anything else. Because right now I only have two half baskets. Um, ooh, okay, so I don't really like Lonely Cats, so I'm not gonna take that lesson. I just drew cards, even though that's a freebie. Um, so maybe I will hold on to it. There's no hand limit. There's no cost for keeping that card. And then there's this one, which is pay six for a permanent basket. Now, um, that's such a great deal, especially early on. It would leave me with just seven fish for this round, um, I've got a four boot that I can try and go first. I obviously want a beast, um, and that's gonna take five, so two is not gonna get me any other cat. Um, but then I can just be gangbusters almost the rest of the game with two pernal ones. So I'm gonna do it. I know it's risky, but um, we're gonna go ahead and just you know, pay for this and then play it to gain myself a second permanent basket. I know you guys can't really see my permanent baskets here. Uh, I guess we can stick them up here. Um, we'll keep my fish down here. Actually, we can put our fish in the middle. This this board here, this boat, uh, has this wheel in the middle that is, you know, not considered an edge of the boat, but it's also not like any place you can have uh, people. It's, it's the wheel that turns in the middle, so. All right. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and get started. So since I have two baskets, permanent baskets, and I may only be able to get one creature, I'm just going to do four, uh, four boots. And we're going to see what our sister does here. Our sister is going at a speed of three. So we did get it. Uh, she's going to be doing three other baskets. So four total baskets. So we'll put those off to the side there. And um, But that means I get access to not only the beasts, but the kittens. So my first choice of beasts and the kittens. So let's think about what beast we want to take here. Okay, so I think we're gonna go with this guy here and we are going to flip it, which is perfectly legal. And we're gonna stick it right there. Um, so yeah, those rats are covered up. Um, nothing new or different about that. I used up a basket. I'm gonna have to pay five fish to do so. Um, and really, beasts come down to choosing. You know, this was the ideal setup for hitting my marks with um, the families and whatnot. This spider would have been nice because it's gonna give me a grand total of 20 points if I can fulfill all his friendships, but especially with this wheel in the middle, there was no good place to stick him where I wasn't gonna be really shooting myself in the foot. So that's where we went with this weird stingray thing here. All right, so uh, our sister is going to go with cat one 
and uh, the two uh, treasure. For those of you who saw my unboxing video, you would have noted that if you don't sleeve your cards, you have a whole extra one of these, which I put some uh, unused tokens in, but I dumped those out during the game. This makes for a great uh, kind of discard bin for your cat uh, tiles that you can then just dump back into the bag. All right. Um, okay. So, um, yeah. All right. So it's back to me. And I only can afford, with my other basket here, a single kitten for two, unfortunately. But that does mean that I can take this one, works out well, to cover up this right here. So I've started my family. I'm coming off on the right uh, point here. I could have come off here or here. Um, and now this kitten is just a, a normal cat for all intents and purposes. And since it's the first round of the game, I can claim two treasure tiles so i think what i'm going to do is take a twofer here to fill in this slot which could be very tricky down the road to fill and then um you know this room is already not empty um so i'm not going to be able to score those points in the next round so i might as well just stick something else there uh, I don't want to merge into this room yet. Um, I can't, the treasure has to go off of this cat. So I'm just gonna maximize my uh, stuff here. Maybe this, yeah, let's go with this. Okay, that's fine. You never know. All right, so I'm basically done. What's my sister doing here? She's taking cat four and three. Since I'm done, that doesn't matter. She was a four basket, yeah. Um, she's taking cat six and one, that doesn't matter. Cat two, and she's taking a treasure. Okay, all right. So at this point, she you know, it may have taken a beast, I think, but um, those are just going back in the bag. These are getting discarded. And I forgot the cat. Uh, this one cat should have been refilled as soon as I finished that round, but um, we knew that the AI wasn't going after cats. So, all right. One, two, three, four. And let's go. One, two, three, and four. Mm, I haven't seen any green yet. Not that I need green, but okay. All right, what's the next color choice here? Uh, orange and then red, okay. Hmm. All right, so let's go ahead and get some cards. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, hmm. All right, so at this point I could easily just like be taking boots like this um you know i don't really need a half boot so we'll discard that one one point per cat touching i'm hoping to cover up all my rats so we'll keep these for right now and then one two three four five um oshacks let's think about that one don't really use public lessons 10 points per row containing only one color cat and is at least 12 squares long. Now this boat, uh, this does not count as squares. So these one, two, three uh, middle rows here, oh wait, it should count because it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. Yeah, so it's more than 12 containing only one color cat. I might be able to do that because this doesn't count as a color. So let's hold on to that one. Oh, that could be one point per common treasure on our boat. That's another decent one. And I don't need half a basket. All right, oops. I just need this top one. Okay. All right, so don't need half a basket. Um, so let's see here, uh, zero and one. Do I want any of those kittens? I don't really need any of those kittens right now. Um, I could make decent use of them though. 
All right. Um, so I definitely want to keep these two, so that's going to be four. And I'll keep this one so I could have three baskets. Seven, eight. Um, yeah, I'm not going to worry about Oshaks right now. So I'm going to get 12. This is how I do it. Instead of taking 20 fish and then putting some back, I wait to see how much I spend, and then I just take the remaining. All right, so I am okay with, um, I don't need either of those kittens right now, so I'm just gonna go uh, with three boots here, and I'll have three baskets. Um, yeah. I even got that, so, okay. All right, let's see what our sister is doing here. Oh, wait, this, I keep forgetting about the events. All right, so we've moved our token and we score events now. Um, she is gonna get 12 points, which makes sense. It's easier to score uh, at the beginning here. So we will just put her tokens right there so we don't forget about them. All right, but I have not put anybody in this one, this one. So this is two, four, six, eight, ten. All right, so I'm not too far behind. All right. Okay, so I'm going at three. She is going at nine. So it's a good thing I didn't put a lot of boots in because nine's hard to beat. She's also doing four other baskets again, so we'll put those right there. All right, so she's switching cat two and cat five. Actually wanted that blue one, so that's a pain. And then she's taking cat one. All right. All right, so let's go ahead and use this basket up. Um, like I said, I wanted that blue one. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So I could do this row too. Ten points per row. Ooh. Okay. So let's do it. We're gonna do. Yeah. All right. So five to take this blue one here. Let's go like so. Uh, all right, so we covered up a treasure. What do we want to take? I think we're gonna take this single little guy here to fill that in for me. All right, um, I'm gonna need another one there in that other corner. Do I do I wanna position him that way? Yeah, I'm still having to do it that way, so. Yeah, we'll keep it like that. All right, uh, I have a card where I could take two if I wanted two, and I may actually, no, we'll just risk it and we'll save that card on a time that I don't have any baskets. Okay, let's see what she's doing. I want this yellow cat right there. She's taking cat number six, which is this one, and a single, okay. All right, so now I can take that one for five. Put her right there. And all I want to do is create a single family of orange and then be done. So I don't give her a ton of points. Um, all right, uh, let's see here. Um, okay, yeah, that's all I'm doing. That was one basket. And she is taking cat number two. One, two, and rare two. This one can go in there too. All right, um, and then I have two left. I did not uh, gain any kittens. I don't have any cards that can get me anything, any fish, so we're just gonna save those two fish. I have a wasted basket, but that's all right. Okay, and she is Oshax two, basically. Oshaks up there. These guys are all done. All right. Um, yeah, so let's push on into day three. 
All right, I went ahead and, and set up for the next round um, and, and got my cards. And we need to score now. So she is going to score eight points. So I'm just going to keep this simple here and give her two more. And I, however, am only scoring, this is two points per unique color. I'm only scoring four. Um, so not nearly as good. Did, I, I definitely forgot about that. Um, and then the last one is gain five points if exactly six of your visible rats are touching at least one cat, um, which is tricky to do. So, but let's talk about speed here. Um, I am gonna go with a, and you know what, I forgot. She was the fastest that round, so she, whoops, should be clearing all of these kittens away. And we needed four new ones. So that could change my mind as to what I'm going after here. Ooh, okay. Oh, I like several Oshax kittens. Okay, um, might go after some of those. Actually, uh, we're kind of going after blue here in this area, especially these like two rows here. Um, and those Oshax kittens might help us fill in some gaps. So, yeah, because that blue one right there is going to be tricky to fit anywhere. I'm just going to borrow this for a second here. If we fit it right there, we're going to need several common treasures here. Um, but it could work. We can make it work. All right, so let's, let's go for speed. We're going to go with um, six speed and a half basket, essentially. Um, yeah, I've got too many lessons here in front of me. Too many lessons, too many lessons. Um, okay. All right. So uh, we're going at six with three baskets. Nine again? Are you kidding me? Okay. So I don't need my boots anymore. The kittens are gone. I'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of these so I don't have to keep staring at these. Oh man. All right, um, two more baskets for them. They're going cat number four. Oh, I kinda wanted that one too. And a three tile treasure. Okay, guess I need to start making my way here to green. So, all right, let's go ahead and spend this basket to get this one. So that's going to be three fish. We said put you right here. Um, two common treasures. Yeah, we're going to need that one. Oh, man. Okay, yeah, I don't really need that one yet. Ugh. All right, what's she doing here? She's taking cat five and then cat four. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Both, goodness gracious, both of those are ones that I was gonna go after. All right, I do need some purple. those Oshax kittens right about now. All right, I'm going to use one of these baskets here to take this cat and start working my way this direction. I really just, I, I'm not filling up my boat at all. Um, okay. What's she doing? 
cat number two. Of course, she took the green one. And um, a three treasure. She's taking all the treasures, too. Goodness. Um, I don't want red yet. I don't want to deal in red yet. So, I guess one, two, three. Yeah, I need that one there. All right, one, two, three to take this one, just because I need cats on boats here. All right, put you there. And that is it. We used up all our baskets. I'm gonna play some uh, treasure cards now, rare finds. So I'm gonna play this one. I will pay one fish to get two common treasures. Whoops. And that is gonna be these two singles here here and here all right um, what else I have this other one here move up to three different cast of fields no I don't want that one uh, take one towel from the bag and immediately place it on your boat so really any well I guess a lot could go wrong here but we'll see all right it is a brown one orange one where it's not gonna fit right there, is it? No, it's not. Um, hmm. Man, if I do this, I'm gonna need, but this is really my only place to stick it to keep that family. Oh man, that kind of backfired. I like to do those early though, so I don't have to um, not be able to fit it in somewhere. Okay, all right, but it is what it is. So, um, yeah, we are moving on to round four. Okay, moving into day four, this is uh, having adjacent to six visible rats. I have a cat adjacent to six, but I only have one. So I am not scoring anything. And for some reason, my sister gets six points for this, which doesn't make sense to me. If if the best I can do is five, why, why does she get more than that? Um, anyways, we're going to go with, I know it's just a half basket, but I wanted the three boots. So four, and I'll have a total of three baskets, 10 fish. Let's see what she's doing. She's taking three, all right. So I have access now to, um, done with that. I have access now to the uh, kittens. But let's do some stuff here first. Um, I want to move up to three cats to different fields. All right, so I want, um, yeah, I want to move this here. I guess I got to keep them in order. So let's put you at number one. And um, this one, maybe. And this one. So yeah, we'll just, I guess I got to keep them all in order here. All right. So I know you guys can't see all these. I'll shift them back down in a second. So I think you can see them all. Okay, all right, so I did that. Um, all right, now I'm going to play one basket, and I'm also going to say when you when you next rescue one cat, you may rescue two instead. So I am gonna take this guy for three, and he wants to go right there, so I gained a treasure, a common treasure, and we're going to make it be what color? I think we're gonna make it this twofer here and stick it right there. Okay, then I also get to claim my second cat 
who I guess I will also claim this one because I wanted that one. So it's going to go right there for three. Okay, and um, that's another treasure. So I think we're gonna take this one and put you right there. Yeah, that's fine. All right, so let's shift all these down just a little bit here and that is the end of my turn. So she's getting uh, two more cards. So she's taking cat six, so that's this one, and rare five, which is this one. Okay. And then I am going to use up another basket here to pay three to claim this blue cat here. Stick you right there, all right? And that's going to do it for my turn. But before I do that, we'll just go ahead and get this out of the way. Gain one fish for each unique color cat on your boat. I've got one, two, three, four. So uh, four fish. She is taking cat number one and Oshax, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, before I go any further, I realized I um, missed putting out some uh, beasts. So I have created a cat family here connected to the orange. So we're gonna put that beast right there. And the purple cat family now has one. So let's put out, I guess this one. It doesn't matter what color you use. You're just showing that the connection has been made. Once I get one more blue one in here, I will be able to um, finish that off. So, yeah, I guess I could have put this blue one up here. That might have been the smarter play, thinking about it now. All right, um, so since I have some baskets back, I'm going to play a basket, play five fish, and take two kittens. I'm gonna take this one who I'm not gonna bother putting a thing there. That one's obviously brown. And um, I think I'm gonna take this one as well. So this will now be my third cat in this uh, family. So I will now have completed this connection there. So I'm ma I've maximized my beast points. Um, Spent all my fish, spent all my baskets, cat four and rare one. And all of these can go away. All right, I've got a few anytime cards here, not anytime treasure cards I want to play. Um, all right, take a rare treasure. So I think I am going to take this big bad boy right here. Cover up all those suckers right there um, and then this one is uh, take any two commons so I'm going to use that to take a common treasure or two common treasures put you there okay and then so right now I can score these two rows right here if I keep them blue here and here because there's purple in here there's orange in here orange everywhere else I also score purple up here so I think I may do another one of these finish that off so that room's full now oh there's one more there I gotta fill that in okay Got a lot to do here in this fifth round. Um, all right, but I am done for now. We are pushing into the final uh, final day. All right, uh, round five here. 
So what I'm going to do, I have to take a royal rat and add him to my boat. Oh, come here. And I'm going to put him right here. He may very well stay right there because he just filled a room for me. Um, but let us uh, continue here. So uh, I've got seven total speed. Uh, I'll be taking three baskets into it, but she got four. All right, so I'm going to have access to the kittens. I'm going first. I don't need this. I'll be spending that basket now. Okay, so first things first. Um, I... maybe get that um, I need a family of each color and I can get pretty close to that with kittens I need to take a red. So I think my first, whoops, I should have 12 fish, sorry. All right, so my first purchase here to make sure I snag it is gonna be this red one here. And so this red one, I'm going to place just like so. All right, so I got a treasure out of that. Um, and so that treasure is going to be this one, and I'm going to put it right there. OK. She is only taking this one cat. So she's taking cat one, and then one, two, three, four, five. She's taking this other green one that I was eyeballing. So that's OK. She's helping me make my decisions here. All right. Hmm, but I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm going to be some uh, fish short here. I'm not going to get there. Oh, my God. Ah. Oh. All right. Um, so now what should we do? Let's go ahead and try and fill up this room here. So we will spend one and five to take these two green ones. Go there and there. Um, all right, I'm going to have the ability to take some treasure here. So we don't need that. Um, hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Oops, you know, I just realized I have completely neglected flipping these cards over here. I have not even been concerned about what she's scoring. Um, but blue is the best. So I guess we should try and add to our blue family here. But I don't have the fish for that. I really only have the fish for that purple one. Purple's not bad either. So purple it is. One, two, three. Using my last basket here. She's done, by the way. And we're going to flop her right in here. Okay. All right. And so we are done with that. We are going to push on to treasure phase. Um, do I want the rare treasure or two common treasures? I'm going to place this one first to pay one fish. Can't take them with me to get two common treasures. So I'm going to put this one right here 
and this one right here. Now at this point, um, put this, fill that up. Um, rare treasures get me points. Um, I really, there's, I'm not gonna be able to fill up this room with just two small treasures. So I am gonna go ahead and use this one to take this last rare treasure. Get me a few extra points and there we go. Okay, so let us take a look at uh, some final scoring here. So, all right, um, me and sis. Okay, so blue families for me is a one, two, three. So I'm scoring eight points. She is only getting three for her blue cats. Green families, I'm scoring eight and she is scoring nine. Orange families, I am scoring one, two, three, four, 11. She is scoring 20 for that. Oof. And purple families, I am one, two, three, four, 11, and she is scoring eight. And red families, I just have one, so I'm scoring none, and she is scoring four or my one red cat on my boat. Okay, rare treasures, I have two for a total of six. She does not score rare treasures. Let's count her lessons first. Two points per cat in the largest family. My largest is four, so that is eight for her in that one. Uh, five points for every cat over 15. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Hold on, I'm getting confused here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Son of a gun. I went one cat over. Um, all right, so that's another five for her and five points per visible rat. This is gonna hurt a little. One, two, three, four, five. So 15. She is racking up some points here, ladies and gentlemen. That's a total of 28 just from lessons. Let's see what I'm gonna get. Uh, 15 points if you have three or more cats of each color on your boat. I did not do that because I don't have three or more red. 10 points per row containing only one color cat and is at least 12 squares long. So here is the question. Does, you know, like this row only has blue and is 12 squares long. Do I have to fill that row? I don't think so. It doesn't say 10 points per row containing only one color cat. It doesn't say filled rows. You cannot use the same square to score multiple rows. How would I do that? Anyways, this one definitely fits because even filled, I have filled 12 plus spaces. But I'm gonna give myself 20. We'll put a little asterisk. We'll see if I, if I win by 10 or more. Um, We'll have to get some clarification on that. One point per common treasure on your boat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve points there. Uh, ten points if you have exactly fifteen cats on your boat. I was one short. I was one off in my counting. Seven points if you have at least one treasure touching four other treasures. No, I don't think I did that. No. All right, seven cats if every cat on your boat is part of a family. No. So, and two points per visible rat on your boat. So one, two, three, four, five, ten points. All right, so I'm scoring 42 according to that, maybe only 32. Okay, public lessons. Didn't have any. Beasts, I'm getting 15 points for that. She's not getting any. Events, um, so this is essentially where we just count. I've got 14 points and she's got one, two, three. How many does she have? She's got 26. That's a big jump. All right, rats and rooms, she does not get negatives for. I have one, two, three, four, five, plus three is 
eight, so negative eight, and I have one room I did not fill for negative five. All right, math. Okay, so final score was 102 to 78. Uh, so even if I took 10 away from my score and said I only got 92, um, I still would have won even if I, for some reason, needed to have completed this final row. Um, I still would have had 82, I still would have won. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. You can see that the Beasts is a big jump in score. Um, she had a decent jump right here. Um, you know, my lessons is up for debate. Uh, rare treasures, you know, you can always score bigger on or else, you know, this was a big differential here. That was a little differential. So yeah, but the Beasts uh, is a big way to get a big jump on uh, the solo AI. So that was a successful game, a uh, solo game with all three modules on the standard difficulty. Now I could add more uh, scoring lessons from my sister. I could have added advanced uh, solo lessons. They say to start off if you're doing all three modules, especially the event module, to lessen this up here. But anyways, uh, if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to let me know in the comment section below. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up. And uh, if you'd like to see more videos like this in the future, please consider subscribing to the channel. Once again, thanks for watching. Have a great day.